How's it going, everyone? My name is Noah, and here we have Lynette. Today, we're going to be doing a bit of discussion about Freedom Session, mm -hmm. which is something that our church values a lot and puts a lot of time into. Mm -hmm. um, you can see the poster right behind us. <laughs> Got the Freedom Session poster up there. Quite nice. I'm on it. <laughs> yeah, so is my husband. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> and yeah, so I guess in this segment, I just want to take some time to get a bit of a better understanding of yeah. what Freedom Session is. Yeah. Who's it for, um, and stuff like that. So I guess yeah. first off, just for those who don't know, yep. um, what is Freedom Session? So Freedom Session, it's a 20-week long program, and it's a discipleship, mentorship, healing program. So basically, in Freedom Sessions, we go through kind of, um, if you just think about like your life experiences and think about how we build our um the way we interpret things, interpret others, uh, see God, and that is all based on like our past experiences. So if you think about if you've been stung by a bee, um, then from there on you might be like concerned if a bee comes near you because you're scared of being hurt because you've had that past experience of being hurt now by this bee totally. or whatever. So Freedom Sessions really looks at a few different things. First, it looks at the things that are really within our control and those that are, without a, that are outside of our control. So in reality, most things are outside of our soul control. They're outside of um, things that we ourselves have control of. It doesn't involve others, doesn't involve God. And then we go from there and we just look at the, um, like the, um, the, the things that we've developed through our lives, and uh, most of the times we develop um, our worldview, our um, way we see others, the way we interpret things from others in the world, interpret God um, through our experiences um, from prior to adolescence. So sometimes um, through those interpretations, obviously they can be um, faulty. So we write these faulty narratives that we, um, and that's how we are experiencing the world. So Freedom Session really looks at that, and then it helps us uncover those faulty narratives, and it helps us to um, then line them up with the truth that God gives us about those faulty narratives. So some examples can be like, I have to be perfect, um, or uh, other things could be like, um, like trust things, like people aren't trustworthy, I can't trust people, or or sometimes, um, based on our parental experiences, we can think that God is just this like um, distant deity who's very critical of us, those kinds of things, and then that's how we interpret the world. So from there, um, we then we look at um, really digging into those things and, and, and looking at the truth of those and looking at how our unhealthy coping patterns are actually formed through those faulty um, perceptions and faulty ways of seeing things. So then... Um, once we start to line it up with um, Christ's truth and also taking responsibility for kind of like our unhealthy coping mechanisms that we've developed and, and uh, start to see things in a, in, a, in a healthier way, then we can start rewriting our, our narratives and, and start really looking at things like when you might interpret somebody like, um, and I know we've all had this experience where we've thought somebody's meant something by something they've said, um, but that's really not what their intent was at all, totally. um, that we just see it and, and, and make some assumptions based on our own interpretation and our own experiences. So um, it's kind of like that. So it's really partnering with others as well. So we form triads. We really try to build a really close support network for others. It's about accountability and, um, and it's about uh, obviously just partnering with God as well. So partnering with God, others, our own accountability. Um, and just walking through these things. And it gives us a really solid foundation and a solid process for how to work through these things. That being said, in the 20 weeks, you're not going to work through like absolutely everything. And as you go through your life, new things are going to crop up as well that's going to affect your the way you see others, the way you see God, the way your perceptions are formed. But um, it really gives you that support foundation and it gives you that process, and, the, and it gives you a healthy way of, of managing those things when they do come up um, to really rely on God and, and to rely on the blessing that God's given us and others. Um, so that's kind of the gist of Freedom Sessions. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot to unpack there. Yeah. But yeah. I guess like from a, a broad overview, it's kind of taking our 
maybe systems that are not uh, maybe unhealthy yeah. or, or things that aren't what God has for us yeah. and unpacking that and seeing how we can better go throughout our life. Yeah. Um, I guess realizing who God is and what he has for us. Yeah. And, and who we are, um, like the truth of who we are, our true identity in Christ, um, which often isn't the worldviews that we formed based on our childhood experiences so yeah for sure and um that being said um they do um um build on it and they use kind of like uh, the 12-step model but mm-hmm. it's been obviously modified um for freedom sessions and it's really brought christ into the center of it um, that being said though um, they use kind of that model but really um addiction can be in the form of anything and they use the word addiction but um, and I know most of us, when we think of addiction, we think of like, you know, substance use, gambling, that kind of thing. Totally. But it can also be like just uh, being addicted or, you know, um, to performance, um, to the approval of others, um, all those kinds of things that just really drive us to just um, behave and react unhealthy. Mm-hmm. Um, and that creates um, in us like an angst that keeps us from the peace that God has really promised us. So by letting go of the control and by bringing our our own narratives into the in line with the truth of, of the Bible and who Christ is and who we are in Christ, that's where we bring, it comes in and brings that peace um, that's promised in the Bible. Um, and then, and that's why, hence the name Freedom Sessions, right? Yeah, yeah totally. Mm-hmm. So, who would you say that Freedom Sessions is for? Is it for anyone? Is it for people who have gone through traumatic experiences? I would say that pretty much anybody would benefit from learning Freedom Sessions and going through the process because a lot of times even if you think, oh yeah, I grew up in this amazing home, this healthy home, we have to all remember that we're all, we've all been raised by humans, we are humans, and that we have underlying faulty ways of interacting with the world and we all have unhealthy um, coping things that we may not even realize um, that Freedom Sessions can really help um, uncover. And so I think really um, it would benefit anybody and it would benefit whether you're new to Christianity, whether you've, you've been a Christian for 20 years, whether maybe you're just checking out Christianity and you're willing to kind of give it a, a you know, um, bring that into the Freedom Sessions with the understanding that it is the Christian Brace Discipleship Program. So I think wherever you are in your life or whatever your experiences are, you could definitely bring out um, some benefits from Freedom Sessions. That's interesting to hear because I've always, I, I've never done it myself. Yeah. And so I've always thought that like, like I, I, I can't point to anything in my childhood or mm-hmm. something that I, I can say that that was traumatic or mm-hmm. something that mm-hmm. I need healing for. But mm-hmm. that's really interesting and cool to know that yeah. like it is for anyone. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and if you think about... Uh, even as a child, sometimes our interpretations that are benign to an adult and an adult might not even realize, but like say, even like you were busy or you had to work and you couldn't show up for your child's soccer game or hockey game or whatever. Now your child might feel kind of have a different interpretation of that, that they could carry on into the rest of their life now. Like I wasn't important enough for my mom or my dad to show up for my game. So then they might have that underlying, like I'm not important. And then they can bring that into their adulthood and and then they start to do behaviors um uh to try to prove that they are important i see you know what i mean so there can be some deeply rooted things yeah and it it could be like i said it could just be something seemingly benign and you may not even recognize it until you start really digging into it that this has actually affected kind of how you've um formed and how you've gone about doing things in your life Super interesting. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Sweet. And I guess the final question I have yeah. for you, Lynette, is if someone is wanting to get involved and yeah. wanting to pursue this, yeah. how can they go about doing that? So uh, through Vintage Church, if you go to our, our vintage.church um, online and go into the central hub, there is a tab there for Freedom Sessions. So it explains it a little bit more there. And if you're interested in signing up, we will be starting Freedom Sessions in January. So you can go ahead and give us your information. And even if you're just wanting to check it out and you want a little bit more information and want us to connect, then we can connect that way as well. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Sweet. Well, hope you guys enjoyed that. And uh, yeah, hope you have a blessed day.